Yeah, so I'm Daniel Himmelstein. I'm a data scientist at University of Pennsylvania. And actually, it's exciting to be here in San Francisco because I got my PhD at UCSF and uh, moved to Philadelphia about four months ago. So this is my first time back, and it's been a great day. My use of Neo4j focuses on encoding biological and medical knowledge into a network. And I decided that Neo4j and networks were the best way to encode uh, this type of knowledge, the knowledge produced by millions of studies over the past 50 years, into a network or into a computer. So we use Neo4j uh, to represent the rich types that nodes or relationships can have in real world biological data. The community of Neo4j, I think, is the reason I chose it. Uh, first, the features it had were fantastic, uh, and they were what we needed. It was basically a system which dealt with types and networks very well. Uh, but really, the community where you had it all on GitHub, and I could, if I had an issue with the code, I could report it, and it would get fixed usually quickly, or I could ask a question Stack Overflow, more recently Slack. Uh, the developers have been extremely helpful. And actually, I went to some local meetups here in San Francisco and met some of the team. So it's a company that provides great support, even though we never were a paying customer as open source users of the product. It's been a really great community to be part of. This isn't a surprising result, but before Neo4j, I had written a Python package I called Hedio, uh, which dealt with these types of networks with different types. And it took many lines, hundreds, maybe even up to a thousand lines, to do the main query that we end up doing for our algorithm. And then when I switched to Neo4j and was able to pour the algorithm to Cypher, the Cypher implementation was 20 lines. And so that was like, I'm like, wow, this is a really advanced graph algorithm, and Cypher nailed it. Cypher had exactly the right constructs to be able to express what we wanted to do. And it was cool to have people finally think about how do you query a graph which before people really hadn't put much effort into, a good query language for networks. If I could go back in time, maybe I would have used Neo4j a little bit earlier. But I think one of the things that delayed my adoption was uh, that in the beginning, when I first evaluated Neo4j, Cypher I don't think was out yet. And I program in Python mostly, a little bit in R, but for this work it's all in Python. And there wasn't really an easy way to, or user, or intuitive way to interact with Neo4j. But now with the drivers and with Cypher, uh, it's become quite easy in Python. Yeah, so I'm really excited. Uh, there's been several talks today here at Graph Connect 2016 with uh, people in the bioinformatics field. And I know when Emil did the keynote today, he had those six fields, and biology and medicine wasn't one, but I think next year he's going to have to make <laughs> another field because uh, it's really blowing up. We have a lot of data, it has types, and we need to understand those connections. So I expect big growth in the biology field in the next year, and maybe I'll tweet him that he needs to add bioinformatics.